Okay guys, today is the big day. Uh, I just received my shipment of discus fish as well as some cardinal tetras and some autosynchronous catfish. So let's walk out and bring them in and put them in this beautiful tank. So here they are, two shipments. And I purchased my fish from uh, Jack Watley Discus. It's a very well-known um, discus breeder. And uh, hopefully everything will go smoothly and I don't have a lot of losses, or hopefully none of them. And uh, yeah, let's unpack them and acclimate them. So I just opened the first box and here we have some um, RDI replacement cartridges. Um, I will explain later uh, why I need them. So I just opened all the bags um, for the first box and there are 10 bags in here. So here are the 10 discus fish that I ordered. Mm -hmm. And you can see them down there. Some of them are really stressed out. So I will start the acclimation process by putting in you know, one eighth cup of my uh, tank water into each bag uh, every 10 to 20 minutes and do that for about an hour to acclimate them and then put them in the new tank uh, right after that. In the second box, we have a bunch of uh, krill meal. This is going to be used for making a special uh, beef heart uh, recipe for the discus fish. I also purchased 100 grams of uh, discus medicine. Uh, this is good to have in hand um, just in case something goes wrong such as uh, you know, them having parasites. And it's also good preventative to do, uh, give it to them every three months or so. So I purchased 100 grams, let's see. We got 102. Okay, here we have one of two bags of autosynchro catfish. Um, these will be good for uh, keeping algae at bay. We have one of two bags of uh, neon tetras, actually cardinal tetras, and these will be good for um, helping the discus acclimate to the new tank because these are also schooling fish and if the discus see these types of fish roam around freely in the tank without hesitation then they the discus fish will know that it's basically safe to be in this tank and they will also lose their shyness. Uh, one thing I always like to do is to test the pH and uh, other parameters in the water that the fish came in to see how close it is to the tank water that I have. The way I acclimate them is I basically just use a turkey baster and just put uh, one of them into each bag and do that every 10 minutes. Okay guys, the acclimation process is finally finished. It's time to put in the discus and uh, I hope everything will go well. So I'm actually going to be putting these fish into the tank using my hands. So they're really, really gentle and they should basically just uh, rest on my hand and then I will just plop them into the tank and that should be it All right guys here we go oh, Look at the coloring of this beautiful fish. Oh my god And Here he is Oh my God, so beautiful. Wow. I'm speechless. Okay guys, the fish are in the tank and wow, they are so, so pretty, so pretty, yeah, this is kind of what the hobby is all about, this is basically the, you know, the top price when it comes to what fish you can keep, in my opinion, so, they're very, very, um, you know, sensitive so you need to have a lot of experience and uh, be on top of your water parameters and your maintenance but if you do that 
then uh, yeah, you are in for a really nice treat. They are so beautiful. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of hours since the discus have been introduced to the tank and we can see that uh, a chunk of the group is already pretty comfortable swimming around and uh, we can also now see the cardinal tetras, very pretty fish. The autosinclers are spread around everywhere on the wood. So yeah, I think everything has went pretty well. And we still have two, actually four fish in the back hiding. So some of them had a really rough trip. And, uh, but I think after a couple of days, maybe three to four days, it could take that long, they will basically then uh, start to school and it will all be one group that is always swimming together. And then, then they will also start eating. And then this project, is basically completed so thank you so much for uh, following along and obviously this is not the end of the road there will be you know updates in the future and maybe new fish i'm not sure so i'm a little bit limited with what i can put in there because of the high temperature and uh yeah but uh please follow along for any future videos and uh thank you so much for watching this one Guys, something absolutely amazing happened. These discus fish have been in the tank for only one week, but look at the tree stump uh, right in front of you, right in center. It already has some eggs on it. So the female right there is laying eggs already after one week. That is so cool.